we still don't have their condition yet. We have two suspects who were seen uh, running away. Uh, it's possible they got into a car a little further away from the event. That is possible. But then again, we have to wait till investigators gather more elements or more details from possible witnesses. And uh, like I said, we still don't have the condition of the victims. I have a colleague who's gone, uh, went to see the investigators to get a little more details. And I understand, I, I saw a cop with a, with a canine dog darting in and out of the buildings. So well, they'll be looking around. I mean, when the suspects fled, did they drop anything, any weapon? Uh, can, the, can the dog, you know? Can the, the, uh, the well, can the canine find anything else that could help investigators in this case? Okay. Uh, that's that's what's going on. I need oh, sorry. I just need you to take it from the top. The series of events and what time? I'll just. Okay. Don't you have yeah. anything? Uh, uh, can you tell us anything about the witnesses and what they saw? Uh, so far, like I mentioned, what I can confirm right now is that we have three victims, three people who were gunshot. Okay. We have two suspects that were seen running away. Now, did they get into a car? Like I said, it's possible. Uh, obviously, witnesses, there's a lot of people down here uh, on Saint-Jacques Street at this time. So a lot of people might have seen things. So yes, this could help investigators. We don't have any specific description of suspects right now. I know that there's a bit of information coming in um, and that is getting to the investigators so that they can you know, have a, a full description of suspects to uh, to share with the, with the public to try and find these two men. Um, but I mean, that's where we're at right now. Uh, just uh, around what time did this happen? Just take us through this, this series of events. At about 1.45 this afternoon, uh, this is when police officers got a call for people who were gunshot. Uh, now what happened is that... Um, now, so, so there's not a lot of information on how this all happened or why this all happened. The motive is still unknown. Investigators are on the scene right now trying to speak with possible witnesses, try to get a description of these two suspects who were seen running away. Now, did they get into a car further away from the uh, event? Possibly. Uh, but so far, that's what it, you know, I mean, we don't have very much uh, details on that. As for the victims, we're talking about three people who were gunshot. We still don't have their condition. Men, women? I have, no, I have a colleague who's uh, who's meeting with investigators right now. We'll come back with more details uh, later on. And to the best of your knowledge, have this place been subjected to any sort of... Uh, not that I know of, but it's still too early to say if this is related to anything else. And just confirm with us again, three people shot inside the clothing store. Apparently, the event took place inside the clothing store. Once again, we have to understand a lot of things will come out during the, the investigation. Uh, investigators will be meeting with witnesses. Did everyone get injured inside the store? It's possible. That's what we're hearing right now. Um, and we're still waiting for the condition of people. And do you know whether the store is actually open for business or not at this time? I, should, I think we have a... You're not sure? Okay, thank you. Do you know if anyone else was in the store at the time? Look, it's, it's possible. Yeah. Right now, no? Anything is possible.